I, I can't believe this, but it's happened again. So once again, boys, another opponent has pulled out of a Jake Paul fight. This time, also being a professional fighter. First time being Tommy Fury, and this time being Hasim Rahman Jr. I mean, I don't even know what to think at this point, but here's Jake Paul to explain exactly why Hasim Rahman Jr. has pulled out of this fight. Alrighty, folks, emergency press conference. You may have seen the news. Hasim Rockman Jr. has pulled out of the fight. This is not a joke. I am devastated. I cannot fucking believe this. We just found out this news. And it, this is just another case of a professional boxer, just like Tommy Fury, being scared to fight me. It's as clear as day that these guys have been so unprofessional to work with, looking for any excuse to suck more money out of this event, to, to coerce us into doing things. And from the jump, I knew in the bottom of my heart that this. This guy didn't want to get into the ring with me. It's as clear as day. Here's what happened, long story short. So he signed a contract to fight me at 200 pounds and was gonna cut the weight down to 200 pounds. This is not a big cut for him, right? He's a big guy with a ton of weight to lose. So he sent a video into the commission the first time he weighed in at 216 pounds. The commission wanted to track his weight cut to make sure he was doing it in a healthy way. Three weeks later, the commission asked him for an update on his weight. He sends a video weighing 215 pounds, meaning in three weeks, he only lost one pound. So the commission was like, hey man, you're not cutting the weight properly. We don't want you to lose it all in the last day. We're gonna have to change this fight to 205 pounds. My team calls me up, they're like, hey man, do you want to change, their, they want to change the weight to 205 pounds, that's a big difference. You normally fight at 190 pounds. Do you want to do the fight still? I said, no problem. Let's do it. 205 pounds, he's gonna have, he already has a weight advantage, height advantage, reach advantage, all of these things, but whatever. I know I can still beat his ass at 205 pounds. And that was that. We move forward, and then today, out of nowhere, his team calls and says, Hasim's not going lower than 215 pounds. If the fight's not at 215 pounds, then we're pulling out. My manager goes, fuck you guys. You're not in control of this. We already agreed to five more pounds. He is a big guy, losing 10 pounds. Everyone knows in the sport of boxing that is an easy weight cut. People do that. UFC champions cut 25 pounds overnight to make weight. A 10 pound weight cut for a heavyweight is nothing. This is clearly an excuse. So they say, okay, the fight's not at 215, we're out. The biggest payday of his life times 10, and he's fumbling it. For what? Because he knows he's gonna get knocked out by me. The pressure starts to set in, and it's exactly what happens with all of these guys. Same shit with Tommy Fury. I'm sick of it, I'm devastated. I apologize to everyone on the undercard. Amanda Serrano, I know you were working hard. Ashton Silva, I know you were working hard. This is absurd. There's nothing I can do about it. I apologize to the fans, and uh, I'll be back at some point.